What it do, y'all? G-Rose, Roosevelt for prayers. This is the Crypto Hour. And of course, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe as it helps the channel keep growing and growing and helps me continue to provide value for you guys. OK, a lot going on in the ASA space right now. Of course, I've been reporting on the tiny man exploit um, and then it just seems like a few weeks later, uh, we have got hit with the news that Yieldly is launching another project on Polygon. Now, of course, if uh, you missed it, there was an AMA. Um, it got, you know, pretty controversial. You know, I, I really admire the community for having their opinions and, and things on their mind and bringing it directly to the team, right? So Sebastian from Yieldly was the one that was actually having the AMA and they brought it to this guy. They didn't hold back. They expressed their feelings. And you got to respect that. But I did want to walk through the website, let you guys know exactly what it is. Um, I'll cover some of the questions and answers from the AMA. Uh, but essentially, to get started, uh, the project is called YE Sports. All right. And the ticker symbol for the token is going to be YESP. Now, again, it is on the Polygon network, and so it seems like there may be like a little bit of betrayal or uneasiness coming from the community. Now, I'll be honest, I'm a fan of Polygon. I've been an investor in Polygon for about a year now. Um, got some really good gains on it, so I'm not mad at Polygon at all. But I can't understand the community standpoint of being invested in Yieldly right from the early days. Uh, it's not even been around for that long. But all of a sudden, you got all these new tokens rolling out like this YE Sports. They also have the I Yieldly, which is going to be like the governance token. It's understandable that someone could feel a little bit betrayed or feel like they've put a lot into this investment. And it seems like the utility of the Yieldy token may be going elsewhere and not with Yieldy. So what is why eSports, right? So they claim to be the first eSports NFT marketplace. They also have a metaverse that they're rolling out as well. The website looks kind of nice, fam. I'm not going to lie. Mm -mm, I won't lie. So that leads me to think, why would Yieldly do this, right? Why would they, instead of building it on Algorand, uh, giving more utility to the Yieldy token, why would they go to Polygon, right? And to answer this, it's going to be a little bit of my opinion, but I'll also give you their answer as well. So their answer is, they essentially started with seven employees, right? They scaled to 45 employees and essentially they needed to create another token to be able to afford to pay these employees right now. Some of the employees, they wanted to be competitive with the pay. Now, in order to get the best of the best developers in the esports world, they need to have some type of connection to Open C, right? And also MetaMask. So they felt like they needed to do the project on Polygon, uh, which would be like a cheaper solution than just Ethereum itself. Uh, but again, that doesn't really do much to help Yieldly or the Yieldy token. Now, my opinion is uh, it would just be hard in general. They're really going to go at this esports niche with the NFTs and Metaverse and you want the best of the best people, it might have been a little hard to sell those people on building it out on Algorand, right? Because again, most of these people, they want to have the open C connection, right? They want that traffic. They want to be where that user base already lives, all right? And so it might have been a hard sell. And I know Sebastian and the Yieldly team one of the best of the best minds on this project. Now, one would ask, why wouldn't they just use like a wrapped Yieldy token to be able to operate in the Polygon network and stuff like that? But their short answer is just tech reasons. But again, my opinion is that it's more than just that. These guys that are the best of the best weren't sold on building it out on the Algorand platform. 
And this was the compromise. All right. Now, somebody did have a pretty good solution. Uh, they told Sebastian to create a Yieldy and YESP pool that is exclusive to the Yieldly app, right? And they can bring over Polygon users to farm. And then it's kind of like a win-win situation for everybody. I can say that Yieldly already has that in the works. And so if there's any silver lining, I guess that would be it. Now, you guys also have to remember that there is an iYieldy token that's being launched as well. The airdrop is right around the corner, so they say. So this means now three separate tokens. The iYieldy is going to be the government's token in which they said will be used to like vote for what new ASAs will be added to the staking pools on Yieldly, etc. Now, again, there was some blowback on that as well. And so they are open to getting rid of that governance token and then just using that Yieldy token as the governance token as well. They were saying they actually created the I yieldy so that uh, you can have that strictly for governance without affecting like your yieldly tokens that are staked. But I know that there's a workaround for that. You can still uh, use staked tokens for governance. And we've seen other projects do it. It can happen. Now, as far as yieldly's roadmap, they are still planning to do a swap or a DEX. They're just working out the regulatory framework, all right? Now, they have been talking to MoonPay as far as fiat on-ramping, but nothing has been solidified yet. As far as Yieldly's actual NFT platform, it is actually live. You can go to it right now, YNFT.club, but there's not a lot going on yet. However, it is live if you wanted to check it out. Somebody had a concern about, you know, the NFTs that'll be on YNFT.club. Are they going to be the whack ones? Is it going to be trash? And then the good ones actually go to uh, YE Sports. Uh, they did clarify and say, no, YNFT.club is going to have the best of the best NFTs. Then again, we still have this other project that's going to be taking, you know, away from our initial investment. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this yet. It's all so new to me. I don't know. Now, again, you guys, a lot of blowback from this whole situation. I think it may have actually been unexpected for the Yieldly team as well. They have openly admitted that, you know, they can get better at the communication side. I really just think the original tweet, like, you know, took the community for a loop there and they did apologize. They said they're going to work on their communication. But I did want to hear from you guys, right, and, and kind of get the pulse on what you're feeling. How are you feeling about this, right? If you've invested in Yieldly and now all of a sudden they're doing a whole separate project that looks pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. It looks good. But there's a separate token for it. On top of that, there may be a whole other token, iYieldy, for governance. How are you feeling? All right. Now, to their credit, they are flexible. They said they may end up getting rid of the iYieldy token uh, depending on how the community feels. It seems like the community doesn't want it. As far as I'm concerned, uh, you can still have some type of governance that isn't impeded by your tokens being staked. Uh, it's pretty good at technology. Uh, it can happen, fam. But how are you feeling? All right. Let me know in the comments. You can be open and honest. You don't have to, you know, act like it's all good if it's not. You don't have to hate it if you don't hate it. If you think it's a good idea, you know, it's all love, y'all. I really just want to hear from you. I want to hear you keep it real, all right? Uh, before jumping out of here, I did have a Tiny Man update. So uh, as far as their bounty program, uh, there was a bug that was discovered. So somebody did discover a bug on the new contract, but it was not critical. It was very minor and they are fixing it. So this bug bounty program is definitely effective and working. Don't know that Tiny Man is going to relaunch by the 17th, uh, but it looks like it won't be too far and hopefully it's sooner than later. Other than that, you guys, much love. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there. Omarion is running wild. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, y'all. G Rose, Roosevelt for prayers. This is the Crypto Hour. Peace.